So infused oils are my favorite. I like to make them myself, but we have this little place called Trader Joe's where they actually infuse it for you, and it's extra virgin with chili and garlic. So the important thing, if you could bring the camera over here, please. When you're cooking tofu, is you want to already make sure, because it has so much water in it, that your pan is already hot and bubbling. So you hear that? Okay. Do you think you heard that, or do you think you need to try it one more time? There you go. So you see I already got the oil on it. And now, just like if I was making meat, um, I'm going to go ahead and season it, okay? Because I want to get it in right away. Here we go. Himalayan sea salt. Your body actually knows what to do with this stuff, as opposed to the salt that has a bunch of sand in it. This is my own little blend, like a Mexican seasoning. Ooh, hear that? Yeah! All right. So now while that's searing, very important, important thing, if you don't learn anything else from Medusa today, is make sure when you're using tofu, you're very gentle with it. You use a nice, soft, gentle skin. You don't want to use anything with steel or anything because it's going to break it apart. And we want to be able to go ahead and flip it, see, without breaking it. I think it's going to get like all mushy and yucky. Okay, so that's cooking up really fine right there. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put our organic butternut squash. I actually cheated and bought the pre-cut kind. Again, at Trader Joe's because, I mean, it's fresh and it's affordable. All that in there. Yes. <laughs> there you go. No. Good. We have little faith. There we go. I'm going to add some more of the same amount of spices. You're going to notice that I add the same spices over and over and over again. Number one problem with people, especially when they cook without meat, is they don't understand you have to add flavor. You have to build it. Brick by brick. You can't just put your spices in and just... A assume like all the other foods are going to grasp onto it because they're not. They have to keep being like reintroduced. So butternut squash meets my taco seasoning. There you go. So we're going to let that stir a little bit and while we're at that I'm going to go ahead and start cutting our organic corn. Okay. Always make sure when you're cutting you have a nice solid piece. Okay. Nothing wibbly wobbly. See how quick that is? You don't need to buy the frozen or the can. Buy it fresh. Yum. How long does that take? Two seconds? Look at that. Wow. Bam. Time for round two. flavors so they all get mixed in. And I'm going to add some red pepper. Remember, you've already tasted your food when you look at it. Okay? So we want to make sure we have a rainbow of flavors. So this red, the R and the Roy G. Biv, we're going to put that in here. See how pretty that is? Bam. Doesn't that make a difference? So pretty, so pretty. There we go. And some more, bam. <coughs> what do you think? Do we need a little more? Eh. Still a little fresh ginger. Whoops, sorry. Here we go. Nothing like fresh ginger. Oh, so good. A little bit more. What did I say? 
excited about building flavors. I'm going to build a little more flavor. Okay. Now we've got our red pepper in there. All right. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to add some more water. We really want that butternut squash to cook, and we're going to keep it turned on medium to high, okay? So that that can all cook up nice. Chickpeas, garbanzo beans, I'm going to go in there. We're going to top it off with some cilantro. where we're at. This is Medusa's Kitchen signing out. Oops. No. Now you're on. Yeah. Okay. We didn't Welcome see back. <clears throat> we're going to squeeze some lemon juice in here and some lime juice in here. Give them a little bit of that tartness. And I got one of my favorite seasonings in Medusa's Kitchen and that is cinnamon, curry, garlic, and two other spices that I cannot be revealed at this moment. So, pepper. Okay. And then we're going to do fresh thyme. A spice that is just always underrated. Love fresh Our thyme. Our city, St. Rosemary. And That's right. Thyme. That's my husband. He's not getting enough attention, so. That was his contribution. Here we go. I'm going to add a little bit of the sriracha. How's it go? Sriracha. And we're done. Voila. Doesn't that look delicious? Now, what you want to do is cook yourself some organic jasmine or basmati rice. Okay? Just for that nice fragrance to fill up your kitchen. And you're going to top this on top of it for a beautiful dish. But I'm not eating carbs, so I'm not going to do that for you right now. Because I have to eat everything I make. So this is Shana with Medusa's Kitchen signing off. Stay hungry, my friend. <laughs>